Hi there, I'm Senator George Morello, and I represent this region in the New York State Senate. I'm happy to be here today to talk to you and actually read a book to you because this is National Agricultural Week. And uh, I'd, I'd just like to say thank you for those of you, many of you who may be farmers, live on farms. Thank you very much. You do an important task. You provide food for all of us. Livingston County and the surrounding area is a very important part of our system because there are many, many farms here. In fact, agriculture is one of the top industries in our state and right here in the region and in my Senate district. So thank you all for those of you that are part of our farming community. So I'd like to read to you this book today. It's called Right This Very Minute. It's by Liesl Bettelson. And it's talking about the importance of farming to our everyday lives. So we'll start it off. Right this very minute, a table to farm book about food and farming. Here we go. What's that you say? You're hungry for breakfast? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the stories of so many right here on your table. It looks like a picture of pancakes and syrup and a little girl at her table. It says, right this very minute in a citrus grove, grove, a grower tests oranges for ripeness. When the fruit is ready, the harvesting crew will pick the oranges, which will be squeezed into the juice that you drink in the morning. Right this very minute, in a new field on a wheat farm, a farmer drills furrows that the, the perfect depth for seeds. Your pancakes were made with the wheat that was grown, harvested, and then ground into flour. Right this very minute, in a sugar bush filled with maple trees, a sugar maker replaces old collection buckets with new tubing system to carry maple syrup to a storage tank. The sap will be boiled down in evaporators until it becomes thick and sweet, like the maple syrup you poured onto your pancakes. I'm sure you've all had pancakes and you enjoy them. You've probably been to, uh, to see maple syrup being made, because we live in a wonderful area where so many farmers do that. What's that you say? You'd like a snack right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the knowledge of so many right here in your hands. It's a picture of some trail mix right there. Right this very minute, as the sun sets on a cranberry marsh, a grower starts protecting the crop from frost. The grower will be up all night checking the sprinklers that keep the plants from freezing. Also, cranberries can become a part of your trail mix. Right this very minute, on a southern farm, a peanut farmer installs soil sensors to make sure the fields aren't too wet or too dry. The sensors help the farmer decide when and how much water these sensitive plants need. What's that you say? It's time for lunch? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the hard work of so many right here in your lunchbox. Right this very minute, a dairy farmer tends to the cows. The cheese in your sandwich was made from milk cows that must be milked at least twice every day, whether it's a weekday, a Saturday, a birthday, or a holiday. Right this very minute, farmers till and test the soil for nutrients to make sure it's healthy before planting seeds that will grow into long, crunchy carrots. Right this very minute, an apple grower works with beekeepers to bring beehives into an orchard. Hundreds of thousands of honeybees will pollinate the pale pink blossoms, helping each tree grow many bushels of apples for you to enjoy. What's that you say? You're ready for dinner? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the pride of so many right here on your plate. It's a plate with a hamburger and a salad and a baked potato. Right this very minute, a cattle rancher moves the herd to a wide pasture to graze. She cares for the cows and welcomes their calves into the world. When the calves are old enough, they will move to the new pastures or feed yards before they are harvested for the beef that we made into your hamburgers. Right this very minute, a farmer 
plans a crop rotation and schedule to keep the soil healthy and grow more of the very best vegetables, like the potato you've topped with broccoli and cheese. Right this very minute, some farmers prepare produce for delivery to grocery stores and others box it up to sell at the farmer's markets. It's a picture of people there harvesting everything. Before lettuce and tomatoes ever get tossed in a salad or put on top of a hamburger, they must travel from the farm to hungry customers. What's that you say you'd like dessert right this very minute? Then you need a farmer and sometimes a whole farming family. You have the dedication of so many right here on your fork. This is a picture of strawberry shortcake, I think is what that is. Right this very minute, a grower checks the weather forecast in a family-owned strawberry patch where workers help hundreds of visitors pick their own strawberries. Right this very minute, a family checks their backyard coop to make sure the chickens have enough feed and fresh water. Then they collect eggs that make they're made into foods like shortcake that's in your bowl. What's that you say? You want to grow your own fruit? food right this very minute? Then you need to think like a farmer. You can help plant a garden right in your community. Right this very minute, you and your friends, family, and neighbors can work together to choose which crops to grow in your gardens. In a few months, you will enjoy healthy snacks and meals made with the fruits and vegetables you harvest yourselves. Every single day of every year, Farmers tend their crops, care for their animals, and work hard to feed their families and yours. Next time you eat your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, or dessert, remember that somewhere, right this very minute, there's a farmer to thank for your delicious food. And if someday you decide to become a farmer, right that very minute, you'll be doing your part to feed the world too. And that is the end of the book. Well, I want to say thank you all for listening. I hope you're enjoying your time here. And I'd also like to thank the Farm Bureau for donating these books. I'd like to thank um, Livingston County, the 4-H, the Cornell Cooperative Extension, and everyone else uh, that came forward to support this and understand how much and how important our farmers are to our community. Thank you all and have a great rest of your day.